A group of Coastal Carolina University students made a medical breakthrough while trying to prevent local dogs from getting heartworm. The three students are part of the CCU Disease Hunters who focus on preventing, inhibiting, and detecting diseases in our area. News 13's Jackie Labrizzi spoke to the students about their research and what's next. To further develop their new technique, CCU students partnered with All Four Paws Animal Rescue to ensure that outdoor dogs are safe from heartworm. We were able to test all of these mosquitoes uh, separate by site, so this way we could uh, screen for them. Emma Weissmeyer is a junior biochemistry major at CCU and has been on this team since the fall of her freshman year. She's now the project leader. The idea came from Dr. Richardson's dog being infected with heartworm and him seeing how much of an impact it had in our community. So we started looking into it. Uh, we wanted to find something that we could test in our local area. And we, when looking into heartworm, we found that it spread only through mosquitoes. According to the American Heartworm Society, South Carolina is ranked the third highest state for heartworm incidents, with a 5.7% of all dogs tested having heartworm. Weissmeyer says once they detected heartworm in positive blood samples, they determined the best way to collect mosquitoes was through a CDC light trap. We started doing that with our partnership of all four paws in Polly's Island, and we were able to screen that community, and we found that it was completely negative for heartworm. She says they learned they could test up to 10 mosquitoes at once without any issues of too much DNA being present. We had eight sites of collection, two a little on the side, and uh, the other six much more towards the central area of the site. Weissmeyer, along with two of her classmates, Lucy Schneider and Ava Hurley, collected and tested about 30 mosquitoes. Hurley says she has a passion for working in the lab and wants to be a valuable resource for everyone in the community. In addition to the heartworm um, that we were detecting in the area, they also asked us to detect hookworm species in the area. Professor Dr. Paul Richardson says their work here is far from done. The group will continue collecting mosquitoes and testing soil samples for hookworms come fall. Reporting in Conway, Jackie Labrizzi, News 13.